Okay, now today we're gonna discuss what the coupling device is, okay? When the examiner tells you to, to, to inspect the coupling devices, this is what you need to inspect, okay? So let's check it out. So right now, we're gonna look into the tractor disconnected. So this is actually the coupling devices. We're talking about the dummy coupler and all the hoses together. See, this is what we use to connect the, the air hoses to the trailer so we can supply air to the trailer. So we need to uh, discuss all these parts right here and the hoses plus the feed wheel. So this is part of the coupling device. Okay, now this, now we know which are the, the coupling devices. So now let's check it out with the truck and the trailer couple. Let's come over here. So we're gonna start checking the dummy coupler this is my dummy coupler so make sure it is properly mounted and secure make sure we have all the hardware present not missing okay not broken or cracked or legal welds we're gonna check the connection at the dummy coupler we have air hoses so we have the serve the emergency line which is the red line and the service line which is the blue line properly mounted and secure and properly connected at the dummy coupler which is the tractor and there's no signs of any audible leaks we're gonna check the pigtail, electrical pigtail, properly mounted and secure. Make sure it is latched in place, okay? That's holding it in place. So we're gonna follow it, make sure is, there's no exposed wires. They should not be tangled each other and it should not be touching the frame. Okay, if you see the, the hose is touching the frame, it shouldn't be touching, okay? Now let's uh, check it out in the trailer. So now we're gonna shake the dummy coupler. It's properly mounted and secure, and it should have a rubber seal in place right here, which is called the grommet. And there's no audible leaks, so this should be properly connected. You see, that's the seal right here, and this is the seal. Okay, you don't have to take it off, but I'm just showing it to you. Okay, make sure we connected it properly, and it's lashed all the way to the top. Okay, make sure that this is the emergency line so make sure there's no operations bulges or cuts and no signs of any leaks this is my service line properly mounted and secure we have the glad hand here properly connected to the trailer and sealed in place and no audible leaks it's not tangled and it's the it has no operations bulges or cuts and not touching the frame this is just the air coupling to the trailer so let's couple a check the fifth wheel Okay, this is my fit with all this together. So I'm gonna check my apron. This is my apron, it's properly mounted and secure, not broken or cracked to legal welds. This is my skid plate, properly mounted and secure, not broken, cracked to legal welds. This is my pin and my cutter pin in place. This is holding the skid plate together with the platform so it don't go off. Make sure there's no gap in between the skid plate and the apron. Okay, it needs properly lubricated. Now, this is my release handle. It should be in the lock position all the way in. If you put it out, it's open, so you're gonna drop your trailer. So make sure it's all the way in. This is my platform, properly mounted and secure, not broken, cracked, legal welds. Now, these are my mounting bolts. Okay, make sure all of them are present and make sure there's no rust or any shiny threads indicating that the mounting bolts are loose and it's properly connected to the frame. Properly mounted and secure, not broken, cracked or legal welds. Now let's go to the rear. Here, if you look at this part right here, you see the bar going across like this? Those, that, that's an actual locking lever. So make sure that's around the shank of the king pin and it's properly mounted and secure. The part inside after the, the lacking lever, that's your kin pin. So make sure the kin pin is properly mounted and secure, not broken, cracked, or legal welds. Now, if you notice on this lacking lever, it's only one solid part. If you see two parts here uh, joined together in the middle of the gap of the fifth wheel, something like this. Okay, so let's pretend this is my, my, my kin pin and you have two things together like this. Those are locking jaws, okay? So they open like this, when you back it up and you lock in place the trailer, boom, they close together. So those are locking jaws. In this case, we have a locking lever, okay? 
So this is part of the coupling device. After you get out of here, you can tell your examiner. Now this, I completed to, uh, to inspect my coupling devices and then you'll follow instructions again.